Shalom. Um, this is Sister Victoria. I just wanted to um, make it clear that as of now, I have put a hold on doing my testimony. My testimonies, I've left off on part E at this time. I will be back um, probably sometime after the challenge. Uh, however, I'm also allowing Brother Mike and Sister Hannah to get out the uh, brainwashing, religious brainwashing videos and observations. Truly, when you are uh, a ministry of serving the Most High, obeying the Spirit, hallelujah, and allowing the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you, we don't just do things um, out of our flesh. We, we don't practice that. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that sometimes we... Uh, you know, may fall or fall short in that area, but the optimist goal is to allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us. And so at this time, people are really needing healing. People are really needing to be set free in their minds. They need to be set free in their bodies. Um, they need emotional healing, um, we need, we need deliverance, much deliverance. And so these videos that brother Mike is doing and sister, uh, Hannah is, um, doing the observations with, we need those to go forth. We need those to go forth that people may be healed. We can't, you, we can't call yourself a ministry and you're not ministering to the people, their needs. You're not meeting people where they need to be met at. Um, we can't be in our own flesh and be successful in a ministry that we call, that we say and claim that the most high is over and operating in. So um, if you don't want to be hypocrites, you know, we have to allow the Holy Spirit to rest, rule, and reign. Hallelujah. And that's what's going on today. That's what's, what's so sad with the saints. The churches are really failing people and assemblies are failing people because they're, the man is doing things in his own flesh and his own strength and his own nature and his own pride. And we need to step out of the way. We are only supposed to be vessels to the most high. That's all we're supposed to be is a vessel being used by the Most High. And when we don't allow the Holy Spirit to be in place, we we hinder people. We hinder ourselves. We hinder other people from being healed and set free. So Sister Victoria is going to get out of the way and take a hold on my testimonies right now because I just want the Holy Spirit to have its way. I want to see people set free, healed, delivered, and so does Brother Mike and Sister Hannah and the rest of the ministry um, that we are under now. And I'm so grateful for uh, Teacher Eric um, slash I call him my pastor, Eric. And I'm grateful for the work that Yah is doing through him. I love the Yah in him and um, just looking forward to um, the word. The Bible says you shall know them by their fruit. And I see so much fruit in him. Hallelujah. The word said the signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. Hallelujah. And so I'm just excited what the father is doing and how people are being set free. So I just wanted to let you know, I haven't forgotten about my testimonies and haven't forgotten you, but they have been put on hold. And I wanted to read a scripture because everything is supposed to apply back to the word. Hallelujah. We're not supposed to do things out of our flesh. And I, with that being said, Father, bless that's the reading of this word. Help us to not just be hearers of your word, but doers as well. I'm reading out of 1 Corinthians 14, and I'm going to start at um the verse 36. So 1 Corinthians 14, verse 36 says, What came the word of God out from you, or came it unto you only? 37 says, if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. 38 says, but if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. 39, wherefore, brethren, cover to prophecy, co covet to prophecy, and forbid not to speak with tongues. 40 says, let all things be done in decently and in order. 
So we need to let things be done in decently and in order. And as a body of Christ and believers that believe in letting the Messiah have reign and rule over our lives and being us only being vessels that are willing to be used by him, we have to obey the Holy Spirit. So with that said, yes, my testimonies are on pause for now, but I haven't forgotten. So if anybody was waiting to hear more, I just wanted to inform you and didn't want you to just be waiting um, without knowing what was going on. So be blessed. And if and, and I hope that the videos with Brother Mike and, uh, that are coming out about the religious brainwashing, listen to them. Search your heart. See if you're being able to... Um, be blessed by this. And I'll leave a link of this video at the bottom. So if you want to listen, Shalom.